Hello there and welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we are back here inside of how to make a Sonic Speed Simulator type game, guys. This is part number seven, and in today's video, we'll be creating worlds which the players can unlock and teleport to, just like um the real game, and just like any other speed simulator type game over here, guys. This game, and um, well, these these um this series over here, guys, is not necessarily replicating a Sonic Speed Simulator game, guys. It's how to make a speed simulator type game in general. So yeah, and um, we'll be creating worlds in today's video, which is gonna be quite exciting. Before I start anything off over here and show you guys how to do this, I first need to go and tell you a little bit about rblxcodes.com, which is my own Roblox code website where you can find out game codes, music codes, and guides. There is tons of stuff in there that you guys have to check out. Overall, we cover codes for over 1,000 Roblox games. So if you guys need a code for a game, it will be there. Anyway, guys, I guess let's just go ahead and go on into this video now. So first things first, guys. We are going to go in and create some portals over here. So inside the workspace, I'm going to add a new folder. I'm going to go in and call this World um, Portals over here right now, guys. Okay, now that we've done this, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just add a part into this right now, guys. And let me put this close enough to spawn. Here we go, guys. I'm going to put this over here. And then let me just size this out a little bit, guys. So we're going to create a nice little portal over here, guys. Of course, it doesn't need to be perfect. It's a bit weird. <laughs> bit, bit of a weird size of there, guys. Okay, so we've got a nice little portal over here. And I'm going to go ahead and make this a nice little... Let's just put this as a red color. What I'm going to do is just slide down the transparency a little bit over here right now, guys. So it's not completely glowing and also guys i think i prefer it if i sorry and let's put this back i i think i'd prefer it if this was like neon let's say and um, whereas there's neon yeah i think neon does make this look a little bit nicer okay guys so we have num portal number one right now and what we are going to go ahead and do inside this is actually create a surface gui so add inside this is surface gui inside the surface gui guys you want to add a frame and make this frame and let me quickly show you guys so wait what, what side is this on so that's on this side right now um make sure you guys do put that on the side which you guys want it so to change the size the side which it appears on just make sure it is on the face and then change the face to, to the opposite one put it on the back here it is guys okay so what we're gonna go ahead and do right now is just change this frame around a bit i want to go ahead and put the anchor point 0 0.5 0 0.5 and then i am gonna go ahead and put um, background transparency slide that to one next i'm gonna put the size i'm gonna put this one um you know what no what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put it 0 0.8 and then zero here we go and then i'm gonna put 0 0.7 just so we have a little bit of a border between the inside and outside if you guys get what i mean position i'm gonna put the 0 0.5 and then 0 0.5 over here right now guys and that is not 0 0.5 that's 0 0.6 sorry guys here we go 0 0.5 on each so now we have a nice little thing in the middle over here if i was to put this over there as you can see this is our world portal so this is where our gy is going to go and it's going to tell us how much stuff costs and all sorts of stuff over here guys so what i am going to go ahead and do next is add inside of this a image label so let's add inside that an image label then what i'm going to go ahead and do over here guys is again put the anchor point 0 0.5 and then 0.5 feel free to pause this video at any point if i am going too fast also guys if you are struggling at any point into this video you can actually download this exact roblox studio file for my patreon account guys and on there you can receive one-to-one -one help from me it would be great if you guys could join that and um, anyway okay so what we are going to go ahead and do for position i'm going to put it 0.5 putting that in the middle um and then i'm going to put that um, y position at 0 0.3 you guys don't need to make the make it make it the exact same as me guys it's just a little bit of a um demonstration over here so what i'm going to do for the size is just put this as a full-on square so 0 0.4 and then 0 0.4 here we go guys and to be honest um i could probably do with increasing this up a little bit um let me put that 0 0.5 there we go guys and i can probably do with putting this up a little bit higher yeah i think that's okay okay so now that we have this over here what i'm gonna go ahead and do is just add the image itself guys i'm just gonna add a lock i recommend you guys do the same you can find this off um the toolbox or you can upload an image to roblox guys but let me quickly slide down that background transparency over here so now that we have the lock next guys we want to add a um a text label on side of here so text label here we go and then inside this text label guys what we are going to go ahead and do is pretty much this so we want to make it the size of this um well first of all anchor point 0.5 um 0.5 
and then we are going to go ahead and put the size i'm just going to put the size let's say we'll, we'll put it 0 0.8 across i'm going to put zero there 0 0.8 here we go and then i'll put it at like 0 0.3 or something like that here we go 0 0.3 and then zero and then guys for the position i want to put it 0 0.5 on the skill on the y x and then 0 point what should i put it here 0 0.7 maybe no maybe a bit more down more 0 0.9 yeah okay that's fine and then what i'm going to go in and do from there is text skilled and then i'm going to go in and put on rich text after that guys i'm going to slide down the background transparency to one i also prefer source on bold for this sort of stuff and then you can name this guys the amount of rebirths that the player is player needs to actually unlock this world let's say this one requires three rebirths over here right now guys okay so now that we have a world portal for three rebirths and what i'm going to go in and do is instead of naming this part part i'm going to simply name this free let's say i want to make a new um new portal and this one requires you to actually have let's say 10 rebirths over here we can then go ahead and put this um and put the text table there to 10 rebirths over here right now guys so pretty much we're gonna go ahead and do stuff like that keep in mind guys you don't need to necessarily put it free and 10 you guys can put it different and this is all personal preference guys you can just of course change the front as well like how they look and all sorts of stuff over here guys but here we go we've got two portals right now next we want to actually add a destination so add inside this a part um and then i'm gonna go ahead and call this part destination um over here right now guys and this is pretty much where the player is going to be teleported to so just drag this to wherever you you want your player to be teleported to i personally prefer whenever you add in, like teleport things to add them off the ground a little bit so the player doesn't spawn in the ground then we want to actually first of all make sure that this is anchored so it doesn't move around we want to make the transparency fully to one and we also want to turn off can collide so that the player cannot like run into this and get blocked by this destination and then guys we can just do the same thing i'm just going to duplicate that put that into number three and to be honest guys yeah um i kind of got this the wrong way around over here so let's quickly drag that over here and this is the one for the 10 so we have the destination for both over there guys which is quite nice okay so now that we have these two portals over here what we want to do next is actually make this script that's going to allow us to teleport through these so what i'm going to go ahead and do right now guys add a script over here um where is it script again and i'm going to go in and call this script teleporter over here right now guys and then we're going to do this we're going to do local portal is equal to um script dot parent over here right now guys okay next we're going to do local players is equal to game get service and then players after that guys we will do local destination is equal to portal dot destination after that then we're going to do function um debounce Bunk. this is just going to make it so that the player does not um like continuously teleport through and then we're going to do this so we're going to do local is running is equal to false then we're going to do return function and hit here we go after that we're going to do if not is running then we're going to do is running is equal to true after that we're gonna do function funk hit then we'll just like wait a little bit so we'll just wait 0 0.5 i guess and then we will do is running is equal to false okay next guys um sorry we need another end here don't we um debounce sorry instead of that this here we need funk. um there we go guys and then we're just gonna put an end over there okay so now that we have the debounce ready um sorry we need to just delete that bit at the end okay so that's fully working right now then we're going to do portal.touched connect function um sorry we want to connect the debounce that to connect the debounce function um and then we're going to put hit if i am going too fast at any point in today's video feel free to pause it anyway after that we're going to do if hit dot parent um is e um sorry it's fine first child um humanoid um, humanoid and then we are gonna go ahead and do local character is equal to hit dot um hit dot parent then we're gonna do local player is equal to players get player from character then we're gonna put the character in there 
next guys after that we are gonna go ahead and do local rebirths and that is equal to player dot leader stats dot rebirths dot value over here right now guys so i'm gonna do if rebirths is greater than or equal to the two number portal dot name then um we are gonna go ahead and put the character um dot humanoid root part um humanoid root part dot c frame is equal to destination dot c frame so what exactly are we doing over here guys well pretty much whenever they touch the portal it's gonna check if the whatever touch the portal is a player if it is a player guys then it's gonna go ahead and find their rebirths it's gonna check if their rebirths is sufficient to actually go for the portal so if it's greater than or equal to the amount which the portal shows we're gonna do this by converting the portal name to a number as our name is free however guys that's actually not number three yet we need to do two number to convert that to number three to compare if it is then they'll then we'll put the position of the character pretty much to the destination position over here right now guys so let's quickly have a little have a little run through of this right now so um yeah we have three right now i don't know which um which one have i put this in have i put this in the free one one yes i have guys okay so what i'm gonna go in and do right now is run through the free portal over here and then i should be teleported so here we are right now guys we have been teleported however guys my portal was still showing that it was locked how exactly are we gonna go ahead and change that well let me show you guys so what we are gonna go ahead and do is pretty much this so inside of start a player start a player script we're gonna add a new script and this is gonna be called portal um unlocker over here right now guys okay now that we have this what we are gonna do is do this so we're gonna do local players is equal to player um sorry game get service players then we are going to do um local player is equal to players dot local player next we're going to find the world so local worlds is equal to game get service workspace um we can't just do game dot workspace really um and then wait wait for child world portals i don't know why we're doing game dot service we can just do um game dot workspace i guess here we go and then we are going to go ahead and do um local leader stats is equal to player um wait for child leader stats then guys we are gonna go ahead and do local rebirths is equal to leader stats wait for child and then we're gonna put rebirths over here right now guys okay next we're gonna do for i comma portal um in pairs will um get children do so what are we doing here guys well we are looping through every single portal in the world's portal folder so that means that we're gonna run through this script once and that's gonna be for the for the number three portal and then we're gonna run through it again and this time it's gonna be the, for the number 10 portal so portal is pretty much the thing that's been selected currently and, and that will change as you loop through the portals for if, if you guys get what i mean anyway we're gonna do this we're gonna do if portal um Hold on, is a part. We're just going to check. This is going to help reduce errors, guys. Part. Then we are going to go ahead and do if two number portal dot name. So we are kind of doing the same thing which we were doing when we were checking if the player could teleport through is less than or equal to rebirths dot value. Then we are going to do if portal. Um find first child surface um sorry surf verse um gy then we are going to go ahead and do portal dot surface gy um surface gy and then we're just going to go ahead and destroy that so pretty much guys we are just going to go ahead and check if the portal is less than or the same as the amount of rebirths that the player has so if it's less than the amount of re rebirths the player has then that means the player has more than that amount of rebirths if that's the case then it's going to check if the portal has not already been um if, if the ui in the portal has not already been taken off it if it has not already been taken off guys then it's going to destroy it and that means it's just going to remove it from the game next we're just going to go in and do this we're going to do rebirths dot changed connect function and then inside this guys we can just simply 
copy and paste this again so whenever the rebirth change it's gonna go ahead and do that again guys and it's gonna check if we have enough rebirths to now wipe out the surface gui off another portal as you can see over here this one's went off but we don't have 10 rebirths so this one actually is not gonna go ahead and update however guys if we were now to switch and give myself 10 rebirths here we go i'll put that to 10 then now it should as you can see it's going to go ahead and go off and i will also be able to teleport through this portal which is pretty cool guys again if you had any issues with this and um, wait no sorry guys I, I can't teleport through because i forgot to add the um the teleport script in that one that's why that one's not working guys i'm just going to duplicate that Control d and not put it in there we're going to put it in the number 10 one okay there we go guys this should be fully working right now and also again if you did find this difficult at any point in today's video feel free to pause it um, and go back but you can also down this download this exact roblox studio file for my patreon but there we go guys we managed to go in and teleport through and that's how you guys can make work in portals i hope you all did enjoy this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe to show some support and peace out